Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, it's still running. Um, so we just started with uh, displaying this to the user. So instead of printing it, we can just, for example, say seconds label dot text is equal to seconds like that. So now each second label so now each uh, second we should see this getting changed. Beautiful. Beautiful. So once it goes to a minute, if you just think logically, it's going to start counting 61, 62, 63, and so on. But that is totally not what we want, right? We wanted to come back to zero and add one to minutes, but uh, our program is right now very very dumb that it doesn't know what to do. But first we get into this lab functionality as it's very very simple. Um, so again minimize that. So let it run for about some time now then we will get into that. So put some space there. Let's call that lab. Uh, UI button. Back to the screen. Make sure that this is working. We'll just print out. Attempting to, to lap, see what we get. Attempting to lap, beautiful. So it means this function is getting called. So basically, what do we want to do when it's getting lap? We want to take whatever's there in these labels and add it to our lab times array and just display that array on this table view so let's get started very simple so let's say you let um, current um, time is equal to hours the reason we're using this text is because I don't know, I just prefer this. Minutes and the seconds. So this is our current time which we have, which is going to be a string. If you can click, it's a string. So now that we have a string, we can append it to our lap times array as it is also an array of strings. So let's just say lap times dot when new element current time but we're not going to be see seeing it on the table here because we're not asking it to do anything so for that we're going to insert a new row in the table view by doing this so first of all we need an index path to insert it so we'll say create that so let index path is equal to some index path it's going to take in a row section is basically the table view which you want to put it at, we have only one table view, so zero because uh, it starts at zero. For now, we'll just keep it as row one. Uh, but this is that the Xcode doesn't get it as saying there's the error warnings are fine. So, so basically, in this row one, uh, sorry, in this row, what we want is the last row in the array. So basically, whatever we're displaying in this uh, table view depends on this variable or array called lap times so we're going to take our lap times here and let's count so how many ever things are there in that and because the index starts at zero but counts index is basically how many elements are there in the array which means it doesn't start at zero we're going to have to subtract one so this is the row this is the place which we want to insert a new row so we're going to say table view which is this right here and we're going to call the insert rows add function and we can insert rows at many index paths so we have this array of index path so we'll just put that inside an array and just use that and for, uh, we'll just use that so now each time we click on the app we should be, be able to see a new thing there we go we get a new one let's hit start so there we go, if I hit that, and as you can see, it is taking 
from search saying 08 GitLab and there you go it says 8 we're not going to give additional functionality except uh, making that it's not selectable like you don't see the gray line so we can go here to cell selection style is equal to none none you can't really see it being selected so now we are able to answer but if you find this too complicated and you don't understand then you can just use a very very simple function they will do that reload data it just calls this whole thing again but insert rows just makes it look much cooler because you have you know that uh, animation now I, as you can see that gray line does not appear so now we don't want to keep uh, adding this up so basically what we're going to do we're going to put an if check here so if our seconds become 60 which means we've reached a minute but our app doesn't know that because it's right now dumb we will give it some knowledge by asking it to add one to minutes each time seconds becomes 60 but uh, we have to set our seconds back to zero and that is because if we don't do that then minutes is going to keep adding let's just see what happens now. you know in a minute it's going to basically um, after a minute it's going to keep adding minutes like for 61 seconds it's going to add one so hit start oh right I didn't say seconds uh, second label text is equal to seconds now I'll be able to see it <laughs> totally forgot so there we go let it count for a while we will wait patiently why we, I just go over what we have done to now. So we've created some outlets, some variables. First of all, this is our UI table you delegate and UI table table view data source. functions you're wondering why I'm doing this um, it's for this mini map that just looks gorgeous I, I really like this mini map it just gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on almost there look what happened now. we don't update the minutes label so that's not a problem so minutes oops label text so you can see it's continuously going up and that is basically why we need to set it back to zero another reason is you're gonna have to wait another minute if you want to see that but another reason is after 60 it's going to not going to be actually but so you have to set it back to zero because for only this reason but what could happen we could get 60 minutes right uh, yeah so we're going to check for 60 minutes because that's going to be uh, an hour so if minutes is equal to 60 then it's become an hour so we'll set minutes to zero sec seconds to zero and we we'll add one to our hours we won't have time to look at hours being added but if you trust me it's gonna work so the last step is to check if our hours is equal to 24 then we're done we're not going to count days so we're just going to stop the timer we're going to the timer dot invalidate and now that i got into this invalidate part we can do our pause feature so below this lab i'll add a new one right here called pause and it's going to be a UI button. So we are all we are going to say is timer dot invalidate. So before we run this, um, let's display all the data which we have in the table view. So minutes, oops, minutes. 
index label dot text is equal to something and what is miss label uh, I'm going to be what I'm going to be showing you about this is using the ternary operator. So we're going to check if minute uh, we're going to check for minutes is equal to zero. If it is zero, then we're going to, it's going to be zero um and then um, minutes. If it isn't uh, let's see the question mark needs to come here. If it isn't we're going to just display minutes so oh. give me mess that up now it should work there we go let's run this and see that this is working so basically it's just to make sure that our app looks pretty nice start one two three four and so on uh, we just configure our hour label by that time so our label dot te text is equal to hours if it's equal to zero then you know what we don't even need this minutes part here we can just say zero zero or else it's going to be so I guess that's going to wrap it up for um, the starting the timer and doing all that stuff and then passing we just saw right here timer or invalidate that's all it takes and this is you just display yeah just watch can hit lap hit pause there we go, it stops. Again, start again, and it's going to continue counting. So, just watch what happens now. So, as you can see, we got the minutes updated, and this is still counting. If you, if you want, you can, of course, add a lot of if checks to make sure that this says 0, 1 instead of 1 because that kind of looks ugly to my eyes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you get the idea of how this works. Now, the last step was I can lap this and I get whatever's there, and I can't select it. If you want, we can also do this actually. Um, editing style. Editing style is equal to dot eight. Then uh, we're going to say lapped times dot move at index path row. And then um, we don't need to create an index path. We'll just say table view dot delete goes at the index path which we get from um, here basically so here and the row animation is going to be automatic but if that does go to hours the minutes goes to hours we will be able to update the hours as well because that's kind of normal logic so let's hit lap a couple of times and there you go as a nice red shiny delete button I can click on that and that just vanishes click on lap again and there we go so for the reset part it's very very simple I'm going to create a function because we're going to use it twice so do it up here probably Punk reset times first of all all this needs to be the way it is this needs to be back to zero we will do that it's in the right place and then our lap times will also become uh, empty and then we'll invalidate our timer make sure you don't say timer is equal to timer like we did over here because then it's going to become very very chaotic so we're going to just leave it at this and what else do we need to do of course Sec seconds label dot text is equal to zero zero and it's label dot um, minute 
label dot text is also equal to zero zero and the hours our label dot text is also zero zero so that's going to wrap it up for uh, reset times i believe that's going to be it for resetting and we have to do one more thing Uh, we'll just say table view dot reload data there is reload rows at but that's going to take a little bit of more time and code but it is as a job if you want to figure it out basically it's going to again take an array of index paths and you basically want to pass in all the index paths that we have so we can do that in a later video if you want to and that's it that's how you reset all the times um, so let's see where we need to call this when we invalidate we don't even need to do this we can just say reset types and uh, we can create the reset function which we will right now so let's create that reset and it's going to be a UI button type action enter Oops, enter enter that again and here we'll just call reset tax so i think i'm going to wrap it up for now let's just see that it works and then i will conclude whether it wraps it up or not because if it doesn't we're going to be in a bad area but pretty sure it's going to work hit start counting the hit lap laps a couple of times hit pause stops it hit reset boom so but one small thing which we have here is if i click on start click on start again and as you can see it's kind of a little fast I can click on start again it increases the speed I can click on start numerous number of times and as you can see it keeps going up very fast that's not what we want so what we're going to do after we start this we're going to, you can take a sender but I already created an outlet for this called start button we're going to use that and say that is hidden is equal to true now it's actually hidden we're going to use this function a couple of times in here we're going to unhide it then we need to do it in our pause feature and now once we hit start we really cannot start it again but we don't want to do that for the pause or anything so yeah. hit start it's gone i cannot click on start again hit pause it's back so that's the basic functionality of a stopwatch and one more thing which we can do if you really want this you can leave if you want now i don't want to keep you stuck uh, but it's just to kind of make a nice ui of course it's not the best but so when the view loads which is right here we're going to use our lap button which we just created and say dot is hidden is equal to true it basically hides it and then we also want to do this when we click on pause we also when we reset the only time we want to set that to opposite is when we start the time because we can keep picking on lap numerous number of times it's going to keep giving us zero 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 so, lap is gone as you can see it's not there hit start lap has come hit pause lap is gone but start is back i can hit reset everything's back to normal start i can do the same lap feature so yeah that wraps it up for the tutorial guys if you like it please subscribe and like to my channel it helps me understand what you guys like to say and what you guys don't and that way i won't upload all sort of rubbish into this channel so also hit that like button and i like as i like to see this channel grow also yeah same reason i'll know if uh, what to like where you guys what you guys like to see and so i don't upload rubbish according to you guys so yeah see you in the next one